Hi there, join me in this video when I'm photographing birds at RSPB Marshside. So RSPB Marshside is a fantastic series of wetland habitats located just north of Southport. Now I did visit here last year, but unfortunately it was in the middle of summer and there was hardly any water on the reserve at all. Um, there was a little bit and I did get some interesting shots of birds in flight. So I'll link that up here and you can go and check that video out after you've watched this. But today there is lots of water on the reserve. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting out, seeing what I can photograph, and I know that I'm really gonna enjoy my photography. Every RSPB site is a great opportunity to see um, birds in their natural environment, but most of the reserves also provide hides and blinds like this one behind me here that I'm about to go into that just allow you to sit in comfort and watch the birds, but also you know that uh, you're not gonna scare the birds um, and it just provides a really good opportunity to watch the birds and take great photographs. Before I even went into the hide, I've had a look through this blind just here and there are loads of different species. I've seen some pintails there, uh, male and female, um, lots of black-headed gulls and Canada geese and blinds like this are a great way of staying out in the elements um, but still staying shielded from the birds so you can take your photographs and get very close to them um, without scaring them. I just spent about half an hour in the hide and what I did try and do is set myself a little bit of a challenge again to try and take some interesting shots because there was lots of birds but just to try and take something a little bit different I was trying to take some um, shots of birds just coming into land or in flight just because it's a little bit more interesting and it's a little bit more challenging as well. Um, it's easy to take uh, photographs of birds just when they're still on the water because there's hundreds of them um, and so doing something a little bit different just gives you that extra bit of challenge and makes the photographs more interesting. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have a walk around the outside of this wetland area. The last time I came I did an opposite loop. Now unfortunately I do know that one of the hides is closed due to vandalism which is quite sad that that kind of thing happens. Um, I was looking forward to going and sitting in that hide but unfortunately that's not going to happen today. That's why I'm going to have a walk around this part of the reserve and see what I see there. So at the moment I'm only about 100 yards away from the hide and already I've seen at least two species that I didn't see from up there in the hide. I've seen a common shell duck and another species that I can't identify at the moment but you know how rubbish I am at identifying things so hopefully I'll be able to put that uh, on the screen for you. But this is a really useful um, location. I'm going to spend a little bit more time here because I think 
further down, there might be some more species that I've not yet seen. At the start of every one of my videos, I do say how much I intend to enjoy my photography. And it really isn't just a catchphrase. I do genuinely enjoy myself when I'm out taking photographs. And it is something that I do just because I enjoy the process of being out in nature uh, and then looking at the photographs when I get them back uh, in the computer. I don't take photographs for somebody else anymore. I used to do that for judges and competitions, but now it's purely for my own enjoyment. I enjoy taking the photographs and if somebody else enjoys looking at them, that is just a bonus. But it really is very calming and it's a lovely way to spend a Sunday afternoon. If this is your first time visiting the channel and you want to stay up to date with lots of future photographic content, you can do that simply by clicking like, subscribe and the bell notifications because that way you'll stay up to date with everything that I release in the future. Coming away from the hide has proved really useful. Um, I've seen an egret out in the reserve and, and got its photograph. Now, albeit it's a long distance away, so the photograph probably won't be very good. Uh, but I've also seen a reed bunting flying around in these bushes here at the side of the reserve. Now, I couldn't take its photograph because it moved too quickly and it didn't really come out of the, the bushes. But it just goes to show that unless you do a little bit of exploring, there's loads of things that I wouldn't have seen. I've stopped here because I'd seen another reed bunting just hop onto the top of one of these bushes. But by the time I set the camera up, it had vanished. But as luck would have it, a wren then popped out onto the top of one of these branches, posed really nicely and allowed me to take its photograph. Well, I do have to say that I'm enjoying myself a lot more when I'm walking around the reserve rather than sitting in the hide. I'm seeing lots more species, I'm getting lots more opportunities to photograph things and it feels just like I'm more out in nature and being part of the reserve rather than stuck inside a building. So I've really timed the walk around the lake well um, because the sun is just starting to break through the clouds and it'll make photographing uh, the birds from this side of the water much better. Where I was before in the hide, um, at this point now, I would be photographing into the sun and that would be really difficult. So it's a good job I'm on the home stretch and I've got the sun behind me. Now this area here behind me is known as Fairclough's Viewpoint. It's at the far end of the reserve and it's completely different today than the last time that I visited. When I came before, it was completely dry. Um, there was just cracked mud on the surface here. No bird life. I did manage to see a gray heron last time uh, it was landing. Um, but other than that, there was nothing at all. But today there's mute swans. I've seen lapwing, Canada geese, tufted ducks, and quite a few other species as well. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time here to um, just see what I can um, photograph from this location. Mm -hmm. 
Now what's amazing about this site is it's not only free of charge but it's also totally accessible. The main road is just behind where the camera is now um, yet it overlooks this amazing area of wetland that's got such a huge variety of birds um, and we are so lucky to have this facility available to us in the UK. So what I'll do now is I'll leave you with some of my favourite photographs from here at Marshide and if I have misidentified any of the birds, do let me know down below in the comments. Well, what a great morning of photography that's been. I've taken lots of pictures of different species of birds, but more importantly, I've really genuinely enjoyed myself this morning. Now, I do bang on about enjoying your photography all the time, and I do genuinely think that it's so important to make sure that you find something that you can enjoy doing. But regardless of whether I've got any pictures at all, I still have just purely enjoyed the experience of being out in nature this morning and seeing all of this wonderful wildlife it has really been a privilege. Well, if you have enjoyed this video, do let me know down below in the comments or nip over to my Vero account, that's at The Oakton Photography. Leave me your comments there and you can also see lots of my photographs. Now, if you like what I do on the channel and want to help support me to make future content like this, you can also visit my Teespring store. There I've got a range of merchandise on offer, so head over there because the purchase really does help me out and it's very much appreciated. And also, don't forget the super thanks button as well. But you don't have to spend any money at all to support the channel, you can do that simply by clicking like subscribe and the bell notifications because it really helps me out and it makes sure that you don't miss out on any future content. Watch out for next week's video that goes live on Sunday. In the meantime just go and check out this video just up here but all that's left now is to say stay safe and I'll see you soon. <laughs>